if you know it's time, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know it's time, figure that out. Right. Make that a priority to figure it out. And again, if it's, you're 100% miserable, if your heart is elsewhere, life is just too short. It's just too short. It's right. too short to be somewhere we're not supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Well, what about for the people that know it isn't time yet, mm -hmm. but it's still really hard? Yeah. I think we grow the most in those seasons, mm -hmm. and nobody wants to hear that. So I think for those that are in that situation, I, I would go to God and just ask for wisdom and how to make mm -hmm. it more bearable. He'll see them through. And then right. like me, you'll find out, wow, that's why I was there. Wow, right. like look at this endurance that's in me that wasn't in there before. Right. A lot of people that have been in your situation are just hoping, and maybe you did too, that like it would just happen, but it doesn't typically happen that way. So what would you say to people in that situation that they're just like hoping and resting on assurance that God might make something happen for them? Yes, I think that's good. I think it's a journey. I just want to emphasize that like with a relationship with the Lord. Right. So I had a lot of years of struggling like, and quite honestly, like there were years when I had a hard time watching movies because it would be such an agitation to me. Like, when is this going to happen? How is this going to happen? But I've always tried to busy myself with the Lord and the things that I think He has for me in the season. Right. Just trusting that He would show or speak to me when it was time. And then He's going he's gonna to show us because if He put the dream in our hearts, it will come to pass. So, so many people want your story you know like they think about it and they just want like something to happen big or to make it big and i just wonder is it something that you had always hoped for or were you just expecting it because of that prophecy that happened yes excellent question no i hadn't always hoped for it and no i hadn't always expected it i i think of it like this too like i love the story of abraham and isaac so God asked him to sacrifice it and put him on the mm -hmm. altar, his promise. Yeah. So I think when it's a dream that you go through seasons of that too. Right. So I know that there's been times where I'm like, you're just frustrated with it or you just give it to God. God, I can't make this happen. Right. I give it to you. So there are seasons of that frustration, that seasons of I'm just not going to think about it. I'm not going to focus on it at all. It belongs to you. Right. And then ultimately we do just continue to leave it with him. Like David in the Psalms, like, mm -hmm. why have you forsaken me? You know, why mm -hmm. am I going through this? Why is my life <laughs> so yeah. miserable? And then it ultimately gets back to God, you are able, you are worthy. Right. But that's part of the human struggle. So true. We all feel that way, but then it's like, when are you actually gonna surrender mm -hmm. this to God? Mm -hmm. That's that's where the, the, the beauty is mm -hmm. in the surrender. Yeah. And he'll bring it to pass. Yeah. Would you say now that you're a filmmaker, you've arrived? I was waiting for that question because I'm going to give you all a very serious quote. This is Ruth Bell Graham. This is what's on her tombstone. It says, end of construction. Thank you for your patience. Mm -hmm. So, no, I have not arrived. <laughs> and I think the ultimate goal for me and I think for yeah. Christians is to become more like Christ. Mm -hmm. And in terms of career and stuff like that, I mean, I could say that on a personal level. And there's just always growth. There's mm -hmm. always growth.